there something you want to share with the younger generation or advice you want to give to kids that are maybe in middle school, high school, still trying to figure out what they want to do? Um, I'm sure, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. And just, just you know, how do people search for um, what their calling is? I'm still trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. I think we're all trying <laughs> to figure out what we're trying to do. Like, I, I think someone is 50, 60 as well. Like, like I mean, someone who's older, it looks like they have everything figured out, but a lot of people, most people don't at least. Um, I think the first thing you got to do is have conversations. It sounds very cliche. It's very cliche, but hear me out. You got to have conversations. As simple as that. I would not have known that this career, for example, wasn't for me if I actually hadn't had the conversation. For example, I thought I wanted to go to finance. Then I had like eight to 10 conversations with people within that industry per se. And I realized this is not for me. Like it's not for me at all. So it's like, if you're not going to like reach out to people and actually have conversations with them, it, it gets a lot more harder to actually figure out what the hell do you want to do with your life? What's your actual calling, you know? Right. Um, and my calling myself, I haven't exactly figured it out. I know when I have a positive impact, but it's like, where do I focus on climate change? Do I focus on education? Do I focus here? Do I focus there? Like there's so many problems to solve in the world. So it's like having those conversations with different people. And of course use platforms like LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a, is, is a godsend. I mean, you've, we got connected through LinkedIn as well. Yeah. Um, so use platforms like these that are available right now uh, to like have those conversations with as many people as you can around you. Yep, awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. And our final question that I would like to end off with is what is your MVE, your most valuable experience you've had thus far? Most it can be in anything. It can be, you know, in professional world, just, you know, family, friends, whatever it is. What, what's something that you cherish that shows you basically what you're, you know, fighting for hmm, interesting i think there's there, there's been so many instances in my life um that like i don't even know where to start because like just one, having one would be like really hard um but still i'll go for it I'll, I'll go for it i guess um i think i think one thing that i i've noticed is that so this happened about eight to nine months ago where um I was recording an episode with someone. His name was Dave. And uh, we had a great episode, 45, about 45 minutes. At the end of the episode, I realized that my record button was off. So I had gone the entire 45 minutes with a very busy person and had not pressed record. And his reaction after blew me away. Like, compassion to the next level he was like i completely understand happens to the best of us don't worry let's record for the 40 seconds 40 minutes it's fine don't worry about it i got a little bit extra time Let, let's do it and and why that experience i guess had, had a huge impact on me personally was that i at least had this thing of like i'm very harsh on myself like i need to do like 10 different things i gotta work like 16 hours a day to like kind of fill the whole holes like to like like fill myself up and I feel like I'm doing something with my life and it can get a little unhealthy at times when you're part of the hustle culture per se because yeah. like, you're comparing yourself to people around you always and I guess that experience has taught me that like in the end like it's really important to be compassionate to yourself um you kind of be okay with but messing up sometimes just you gotta be okay with messing up sometimes um and, and the, it's just that I guess that experience, I think, I think each thing happens in your life to teach you something that's been in that moment. And for me, I was sort of getting in that stage where I was like, I'm doing too much. And even though you love everything you do, if you do a little too, too many things at the same time, you start slowly and steadily despising everything. Mm -hmm. And like, I saw that with my life at that point. So it's like, I think that lessons come in your life when they need to come. That was one lesson for me. Uh, I guess those are two learnings. One thing is don't be too harsh on yourself. And second thing is the right lessons come in your life when they need to come, I guess.